Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're just going to be diving through this new frame I have here for the 52 Chevy. So we're going to dive through what it is, kind of what the plans are with it and everything like that. So if you want to keep following the truck journey here, please think about subscribing and let's hop in this frame here. All right, so I'm going to apologize out of the gate for any wind noise that we're going to have here. So there's the 52 we've been working on. I'm hoping to haul it before it starts snowing into the garage here. So a little dinged up gotta fix some panels and then we got something new for it hey look at that new frame so that is a 52 and this frame up to about this point here is from a 55 the square body Chevy's but I do believe that the mounts are the same on this and on that so let me know if they are the same or if they're not it seems that the end of the truck is a little bit different this actually appears to be when i measured it a little bit shorter in width than uh, this does so we're gonna go ahead and see what that's all about but checking out the new frame here i believe it has the stock rear end in it i have to tear it apart with the gearing ratios and stuff uh it looks like it has some like drag coil suspension stuff going on there so that's kind of neat these big old honkers in the back, which I think I'm going to keep. I think they look pretty neat with the uh, moons in there, which I think looks pretty neat. And I'd like to get like some five lugs on the front with the moons as well. So this frame, it appears it has been chopped right here. And this is a Chevy Nova front clip that we have on the front here. So Chevy Nova front clip. It's got the motor mounts for a 350 in there to ride ditch, get some new motor mounts in there. So motor mounts for a 350 is what we want to go with or an LS which is kind of the route I'm wanting to go and then it's going to have some and all this needs to be freshened up obviously but it's going to have some disc brakes which is going to be way nicer than the old drum brakes. So the goal of this frame is just to get a motor that I can get in there with a kind of more current power plant. So that would be pretty nice, and if the power steering works, that'd just be gravy on top. Um, yeah, that's kind of the plan with this thing here. So wheelbase to wheelbase, it looks like the guy did a really good job welding it up. Uh, this is actually a dad's friend of mine who uh, ended up selling this to me. It sold it to me for 500 bucks, so I think that's a pretty stinking good deal. Once I peel the, uh, the old frame and the engine out of there, I think I could get at least 500 bucks for the old engine and frame. So, I don't know if it's sacrilege to not have everything original, but I really want up-to-date brakes and I want up-to-date uh, power plant and everything like that and make the truck more fun to drive once we're all done with it. And that's kind of just what I want for the truck. Maybe get like a 6.0 LS or something like that. Yeah, so that's the frame right there. I gotta get them all moved into uh, inside before it snows though. Yeah. So, exciting stuff. Give another look see at it here we we'll probably need a custom drivetrain that's kind of the overview on the frame here here you can see we got the power steering we got the disc brakes that we're going to have the motor mounts so i'm planning on doing like an ls swap to get a current powertrain into this thing so i'm going to be flipping out the motor mounts got to clean this all up get the disc brakes all rolling and everything like that so it should be a pretty nice upgrade also been keeping my eyes peeled this truck was on copart this got the 6.0 vortec with the automatic transmission Keep my eyes peeled on Copart, seeing if you guys are interested in any type of content of me looking at trucks. Hopefully I can scoop up something with a Vortec engine, the 6.0 preferably for very, very cheap, and get the whole truck so I have the wiring harness and all of that stuff. So hopefully all of that happens, but we'll go ahead and see on that. So that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on. If you want to subscribe and follow, uh, feel free to do so.